surprised Aaron Rodgers isn't interested in Des Bryant. A quarterback should just want any receiver out there who he thinks can catch a ball unless he thinks he can't really catch the ball. No, most quarterbacks, they don't want just any wide receiver. No, especially when you've gotten rid of a guy that you have a special connection to, and that's Jordy Nelson. Now, Jordy Nelson is the only receiver that Aaron Rodgers has ever said anything about when they departed. Our good friend Greg Jennings, he left there. Aaron didn't say nothing about him. Mm -hmm. Donald Driver retired, legendary Packer, big plays, crucial situations. He retired, didn't he say anything about him. The only time he said something was about Jordy Nelson. He also, that was after the coach um, was let go, that he wasn't uh, informed of that. So, no, I'm not surprised at all. And I believe Aaron is a really smart football player. And I believe that him and Jordy had a special connection because some of the throws and stuff they made, they were not drawn up by a coach. They were just him and Jordy making something happen in critical situations. That type of intel and relationship, that don't, you don't transfer that over to another receiver. Like that's something special that you know you have. You only have it with only a few quarterbacks. And I don't think that he thinks he's going to get that in Des Bryant. Is Des a better route runner than Jordy? No. Is he better off the line of scrimmage on his releases? No. Is he faster? No. Can Des play in the cold? I don't know. Jordy was amazing. Does he have better hands? In the cold. No, absolutely not. So there's not one part of the game that you can tell me Des Bryant is better than Jordy Nelson at. So I understand what Aaron is saying, and Aaron is right about it. And it's not just a personal connection with Jordy Nelson. Since 2011, what quarterback-wide receiver combo has the highest passer rating? Of any combo. Retired quarterback Peyton Manning and Julius Thomas, second on this list. Peyton Manning's not playing anymore. Third on the list is Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. First on the list with a bullet, Aaron Rodgers and Jordy Nelson. Aaron Rodgers passing to Jordy Nelson over the last seven years has created a pass rating of 130. The NFL all-time record is like 104. Like, a perfect pass rating is 158. Like, so it wasn't just this is his buddy, a guy he's been with, a guy he trusts. It's been the most effective quarterback-to-wide receiver duo we've seen in the league. So the only way I think Aaron Rodgers can come to some terms with them moving on from Jordy is we're getting younger. We want to bring in the next wave of guys. And that's what he alluded to there is mm -hmm. we're going with younger guys. Like, he doesn't like them getting rid of Jordy, but if it's what, they draft three wide receivers? Yes. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're turning the page to a younger generation. Not so we can then bring in a 29-year-old Des Bryant. And so not only was Jordy a good receiver, not only did he have the connection with Aaron, but as a veteran receiver, you don't have to worry about what time he's going to get there. You don't have to worry about what kind of teammate he is. Jordy Nelson has zero maintenance as a top flight wide receiver. You're only going to get that only out of a couple guys. There's only a couple guys. A.J. Green, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry's some maintenance on the side, though. Yeah. He's got some. Maybe. But, <laughs> like, you, you typically yeah. don't. Julio. Julio can be demanding. <clears throat> got it. You know, Julio can be demanding. Julio he's old now. time, but he's, but he's, right? Yes, Julio knows he's a star player. You're going to have to treat him like a star player. He likes being part of the Falcons, but don't get that mixed up. Don't take his quietness for kindness and okay. take advantage of him. Yeah, but that type of lack of maintenance for a veteran receiver, you have to consider that. Look, Aaron Rodgers has been in the league a long time, and he fully understands how to answer questions. He didn't have to bring up Jordy Nelson. There was no reason for him to have to compare Des Bryant to Jordy Nelson. He didn't have to do that. Is there a part of him that's still bitter that, that he's going to start going through contract negotiations? He wasn't consulted on that. I mean, do you get a sense I, I, that I'm maybe sure he's that, not on I'm the same sure page with the Packers? I'm sure this offseason hasn't gone exactly the way he would like. From the quarterback's coach to one of his best friends on the team and his favorite target not being retained. But I also think this was Aaron Rodgers putting to bed any idea this team would bring in Des Bryant. Like, I think he killed that. If it was a possibility, I think that is now dead and gone. I, I know he's not the GM, but I don't think they're going to actively antagonize him. And now he's on the record publicly saying it doesn't make sense to him. And he said if they do bring him in, though, he, he saved himself. He put an olive branch out there at the end. He said they're going younger. He protected himself. I don't see him doing this, but if they do, I'll teach him as much as I can to bring him up to speed. He hadn't talked to the front office. You could tell that. But Des Bryant is not a good fit in Green Bay. 
People that think they're football experts have been trying to send him to Green Bay. I never thought that he was going to be a good fit there. And the amount of money they're already paying their wide receivers. He's not going to come there for free. And everyone cannot catch the ball in the cold. All right? Wide receivers, that climate, it's important. So if they're going to bring in a veteran guy, it has to be a guy that's proven that he's done that. All right. CC, Nick, thanks. Coming up, who's facing more pressure? Thanks for being great. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. No, no, stick around.